Well, hello. Good evening, people. First thing I want to say is you made it to this day. No matter how hard your life could be right now, you made it. I'm thankful for you. I am so thankful that you made it. I know life can be, for some people, it can be so much easier. For some people, it can be very, very hard. And um, for me, just getting up from the bed and going, getting my stuff done without me um, being so depressed. Well, I'm not really depressed, but like me knowing that my kids are not with me kind of making me a little bit depressed, but I'm fighting, um, I'm fighting myself for it. And I know that I will make it because God is with me. I am not alone going through this. God is with me and he sends me people my way if I need anything. He knows before I even ask him. So he, same goes for you. God knows before you even ask. God knows your thoughts before you even think about it. But anyways, uh, I just want to say God is good and uh, never give up. Anyways, this day you got through to this day is because uh, because of God, not because of your own, but because of God. And I just want to say that um, if you are a person who is um, maybe opening a church, maybe you are uh, evangelizing out on the street, or maybe you are just... Um, I don't know trying to help out or maybe you are just um anyways no matter who you are or what you do in your life but if you pray for people to come to jesus christ if you pray for people or if you um uh if you evangelizing out on the streets or if you are just helping out and um throughout the day i just want to say that um uh a couple weeks couple weeks now god has been talking to me about saying that i need to tell others about love he is love god is love and i also want to say that um um god is love and also i want to say that um <sighs> I do read Bible. I actually didn't like it when I was a teenager. And I would always wonder. I always felt like somebody's making me trying to read Bible. And I'd be so annoyed by people who would make me want to read Bible. But um, and I actually, even on my older age, I would, um, I would, um, I would just look at Bible and not even open in it and when my life got really really hard well it it didn't really get hard because um even though it it gets hard i'm still with god and god is helping me through through it all but anyways um uh i just want to say that um what else i was gonna say oh so and i keep every time not every time but like these couple weeks i keep opening the bible and it keeps telling me um it keeps bringing me to um keeps bringing me to a, a place in somewhere in matthew somewhere in the middle of matthew um god is uh teaching the disciples and his apostles how to pray and how to like um he's explaining to them how to catch man and that basically you cannot do anything without the holy spirit right so um but at first he at first when he was teaching them there was no holy spirit the holy spirit was there only after the resurrection of jesus christ uh which is towards the end of matthew but anyways um so he is talking about um God is uh, trying to teach and he, he he wants me to teach you people, whoever is reading, I mean, whoever is watching this. And um, I don't know if I'll, uh, I don't know if I'll get a word in church for me to talk about this. But uh, I just want to say that he's been teaching me that uh, when I do pray for people, especially the new new people who is new in Christ, never pray with in tongues 
with in the Holy Spirit never because when uh, a newcomer a new person starts um, coming to Jesus and uh, starts his or her life with God or with Jesus uh, speaking in tongues can really really confuse and it can really really push that new new believer away um, it can push away from church like I knew I knew this one lady who talked to me the other day actually I talked to her last week a couple days ago uh, um, but anyways whatever last week which is a couple days ago <laughs> anyways um and it's almost week it's right now for me it's a weekend but anyways um so he um so she was telling me how she came to Jesus 20 years ago and then uh uh, so once she came to church and came to Jesus, uh, people started pushing her to 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 pray in the tongues, and she's and basically it scared her away, and she stopped going to church for many many years. Yeah, holy, actually, we can we can, without noticing trying to help uh, trying to help others and make others uh, to pray in tongues we can actually push them away so we have to be do we have to do this very very carefully we have to um when we bring people to jesus on or when we pray for newcomers we have to do it very slowly uh and we have to ask holy spirit to teach us how to do it because some people can just go for it and some people can just uh leave and that's one less person in heaven in, in um and yeah i guess that's one less person can get to heaven if something happens to that person but usually not but anyways um so it even it teaches us even in the bible in matthew read the book of matthew if you don't sleep a day or maybe actually a day and then a night and then a day you can actually finish reading a book i actually read psalms like um holy sometimes holy spirit spirit wakes me up and wants me to pray or read bible whatever i actually read uh psalms through the night believe it or not it is possible to do you can read bible i mean you can read proverbs through the night the whole the whole hundred psalms 100 something i don't know 140 i'm not i'm uh, uh, i'm not a professional maybe i'll get there one day in in, in reading the bible but i'm not I'm, but anyways i'm not a professional but i'm gonna get there but nobody can ever get um nobody can ever ever um finish the bible i mean nobody can ever ever know every single thing in the bible because it the book of bible the bible is on mm, I wouldn't say unpredictable. I'm trying to think of a word in English to say it, but the Bible is um no matter how much you study it, you like infinity. There's it, it never ends. You know how infinity um like it never ends. Um yeah, anyways, um yeah, it never 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 ends. The the things that you get to know the bible it never ends you will always always learn new things and mm, there's no such a thing as uh study the bible and you're done with it no not the bible I, other books yeah but not the bible that is why the bible is really interesting but anyways my whole point is on how to teach other people um pr to pray and um so please whenever you bring a person to christ never ever in their life tell them to tell them to don't push him don't push him to pray in tongues just um because you know how god is not pushy whatever comes from god it's really really gentle and it's really really um like holy spirit knows like um you know how love how people when they are in love they're very gentle they're kind they're they're compassionate to each other um like um i don't know what else gentle i already said my words you know how it says in corinthians everything about love uh i can't remember corinthians 4 or corinthians 
17 or something i don't remember like i said i'm not a professional but anyways read read the book of um corinthians also there's not that many um you can do it in a couple hours because there's not that many chapters but it explains i think it's somewhere not the first not second chapter for sure but like somewhere after third chapter and it's not at the end i think it's somewhere in the middle it talks about what love is and that is god god is love right so whatever uh the 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 bible verse talks about how um love is not is not envy love is patient love is kind um all those good things they come from god right and all the negative, all the bad, all the pressure, abuse, it all comes from the enemy who is trying to steal your um, joy, your day, your basically life, right? So the enemy tries to steal your life, right? But anyways, um, so um, yeah, last thing I want to say is don't ever pray for people that are newcomers with the holy spirit and unless the holy spirit is telling you because you can push that person away and that person may never never come back to god they can they can actually be scared of it they can be um intimidated they can be um it's it's like especially for newcomers for people who grew up in church in 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 like church whose parents would bring them to church it's a little bit different for those kind of people but for the newcomers who have never heard about god before or jesus who is like totally from a different life um they are let me tell you this they would be really really scared and it's like it's, it's something new it's like what in the world do you know what are, what are they talking about excuse me I am blessed to have water with lemon. I am blessed to have food. I mean, God is sending me food. I'm serious. It's like whoever is um whoever is God's um <clears throat> whoever whoever serves God, they they never um they always have what they need. Always, always, always. I have never no matter how much I um, serve God, sometimes I get a little bit upset. But no matter how I serve God, I, I there was not a day where I did not have anything to eat or um, I did not have anywhere to sleep. There has never been a day like that. Even though my kids are not with me right now, which is um, it's it's a little bit different lifestyle. Um yeah it's a little bit different lifestyle and i don't mind i don't mind whatever god wants me to learn in life i mean i go through different things and i'm actually enjoying this am i happy mm, i could say i'm happy i'm not really i'm not really 100 percent happy because i kind of know my kids are out there with my ex-husband um with his wife and i'm here alone without him and i don't get to teach him the things that I could have taught them when they're with me I, I see them I see them a lot and when the Holy Spirit tells me to tell them something I want to but the main thing um the Holy Spirit wants me to do is kind of um basically the Holy Spirit told me whatever I do my kids will do so if I go and preach on the stage my kids will too and just because for my kids I would do it actually I am very very stubborn person but I so do it for my kids I so do it because my kids are my life yeah I mean I have I'm, I'm actually at first I didn't want like at first it was really hard but now I'm actually I, I, I'm liking this yeah I'm liking this I'm not I'm not regretting about my life anyways um because there's different seasons that God wants us to go through and Jesus and why do we live on this earth we live on this earth for other people right we live on this earth so God can use us right we live on this earth so um we can help others not just sit in your room all day long watch tv or be on 
on some kind of social media, Facebook or anything, or go out and do whatever you want. No, we are created for each other in this world. So uh, we are created to help out the, each other. And if somebody is sick, you need to make them food, go take it to their house. Or maybe um, get to know your neighbor, make some food and go to your neighbor, get to know your neighbor. We are made for communication in this world. And um, I'm very, very, I had a long day. I had a very long day. Do I like it? Yes. I'd rather have a long day. I'd rather go go get things done and be useful for other people, for God, and be useful for Jesus than to sit in my room like I used to and cry about things that are not getting done. I'm serious. I used to cry about things that I'm not getting that are not getting done. But actually, what needs to get done is you need to get up from your booty and go do it. Yeah. Same goes for the prayer. Every, you wouldn't want to like the hardest thing to do is to start, right? Like let's say praying every day. To start praying every day is the hardest thing to do, right? Uh, it might be for some people so start with a minute or five and just progress <sighs> but do not stop do not stop praying do not stop praying because that is the communication with God and you do not want to stop praying because uh, if you stop praying that means you did not get to know God yet so good that means you need to work on it to get better but anyways um I, yeah basically i just wanted to talk about today about how we are supposed to um not scare people when we pray for them okay well i'm gonna go get my rest because i've had a whole long day uh our life is gonna get better never give up your life will get better because you are God's child and God created you for his enjoyment. So show God that you enjoy this world and that you love others and that you forgive others, which is hard to do sometimes, but uh, forgive others and just love on people. Just help them out if they need help anywhere and you are just an amazing person nice knowing you and i will be and i will pray for you no matter who you are you know maybe i don't even know you but what really matters is one what one of my parents said what really really matters is um you say it into this world and somebody can be on the other side of the world but they are hearing my message and um uh and accepting that god loves you uh and accepting that uh he will bless you with things you need in life and um yeah even I just want you to know that I am praying for you, whoever you are. I, I want to be there for you, okay? Even if I don't know you, even if I never saw you, maybe in heaven I will see you. But even if I never saw you, I just have this love passionate for people, okay? I have this love passionate for people. And I know that um, God hears you no matter how hard life gets for you. God hears you and you're not alone and I just want to say that read Bible reading Bible is the best thing that could ever happen to me <sighs> anyways I can keep going and going and going and going I guess I uh, just have a great blessing day and um and I want to bless you I want to bless you with good health I want to bless you with um uh I want to bless you from heaven with healing in the name of Jesus. You will be healed. You can just put your hand your your uh, on whatever spot hurts for you and just be healed in the name of Jesus. But you can only get healed if you believe. 
it, it depends on your uh, belief how much how much you believe um, how much faith you have and faith comes from hearing so it, um, so you we actually can heal ourselves with God's help actually we cannot do it by ourselves but God can heal you through you only if you believe it okay only if you believe it this is the best thing ever happened to me i believe it and do you know how i mean devil just mm, does not like me <laughs> he does not like me how many times i have I, I have got healed god healed me through me with my faith all i have to do is have connection me and god have connection never leave him never leave god it is the best thing ever could happen to me anyways i gotta go have a blessed day have a blessed time i love you god bless you